Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be reviewing and demonstrating the brand new Gucci face powders. This just arrived, I am so excited. I placed my order directly on the Gucci USA website, but I did see these pop up on Harrods, Selfridges, I think some of the shades had started to dwindle. They sold out quickly and slowly but surely now they're starting to come back in stock. Eventually, at some point, the Gucci powders will be available at Sephora. Depending on where you live, that might be an easier retailer for you. So don't feel like you have to rush, purchase it right now if you would prefer to wait and see it in person. I just wanted to make sure that I could get my review up, which I know will be helpful for some people. I also picked up two different shades. I really liked the look of this compact, so I needed an excuse. I wanted a powder that I could set my whole face, set my under eye, and a bronzer. So I ended up going with the 01 and 09. I struggled a bit when choosing the right shades to pick up because there weren't a lot of helpful photos on the website, which is completely opposite to the lipsticks. I think Gucci does an incredible job of showing every single lipstick shade in each formula on different skin tones. That way you can at least get some sort of idea of what it will actually look like on you. I, that was not the case with these powders. I think they are going to work, so let me go ahead and open them up. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the 01. This is the light shade. And I've finished my makeup for the day. I just need to set my face, go in with bronzer, add a little blush, and then that's it. Everything they've done to revamp Gucci Beauty excites me and I cannot wait for them to just keep coming out with more, more, more. I love the little velvet compact protectors in this very light peachy pink shade. Everything looks sort of vintage, kind of old Hollywood, just ultra glamorous. And then the compact is this beautiful golden pink, just like the brow pencil and the new mascara, which I am wearing today. It's thick, which is so nice. It reminds me a bit of the gold lipstick tubes. Weighted, it has this really pretty etched design around, just like this. Blaze of Noon, this is what I have on my lips today. And even on the bottom, there's a really pretty design. And then this is the powder. It looks so light. So I'm hoping this is going to be nice and sheer and not a full-blown powder foundation. It's supposed to be a natural matte beauty powder, but when you look closely at the compact, it does look like there are slight little glimmers of luminosity. And then underneath, you kind of lift it up, you do have a Gucci sponge, a little puff. Really nice. As I've been getting everything ready to film, my concealer has been creasing like crazy, so I definitely need to set it. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Refer 18 brush. It's a little bit smaller, but I think this will be nice for underneath the eye. Okay. Wow, that's brightening. Ooh, what a difference. Very brightening. Oh my goodness. I like it. Oh, I wonder if I should have gone with a darker shade. It was kind of tricky. I figured I would just go light because I usually like a brighter under eye. Wow. You know, it does have a little bit of a healthy skin finish. It's not too matte, it's not too dusty, powdery matte. It doesn't look incredibly dry. And the other great thing is I can't see the powder. I hate whenever I powder my face and you just look dusty, you know, it just looks dry and you can see it, you know, it's visible. It's like it's right there on the surface. But that set beautifully. I don't think I'm gonna set my whole face. This is just too light. It does have some coverage. I wouldn't call this translucent. And you really don't need very much. I can see the powder that I'm picking up with the brush. But I can also see that the top of the compact doesn't look like I've done anything. You know, it still looks smooth. Okay, let's 
let's try the other side. No smell. I just got curious. <laughs> And I'm not going anywhere and I'm not taking photos, so I can't tell if this is going to be too bright with flashback. In person, I love it. I think it looks so pretty. It looks so soft and smooth. I'm just gonna kind of take the excess on my brush. I might tap in a little bit. I don't want to pick up too much. My cheeks right here just kind of look porcelain. It looks so smooth. And it didn't look that way before the powder. I generally feel like I need to set my under eye with powder, but I'm so happy. That makes me feel good about picking up two compacts. I was going out on a limb there, hoping that it was really nice. I love it. I think this could become my go-to matte compact powder. I really like the Givenchy matte loose powder and then I really like the luminous Le beige if I want a little bit more glow. But this is beautiful. I love this. This is perfect. I just hopped on the Gucci website because I wanted to look up the price. It's $62 and I was reading about them and it says that it's a refillable compact which I didn't realize. That's incredible. It makes sense. I mean, the compact is so substantial and you know, it's weighted, it's beautiful, it's so luxurious. Nobody wants to throw that away. So I guess this is refillable just like the Charlotte Tilbury bronzers. So this is the nine. I think worst case scenario, I suppose I can be really light handed but I'm just kind of ner nervous that it's going to look ridiculous. Let me take off this mirror protector. It does look like there's a little bit of a gap here. Ooh, I don't want to break my nail or scratch it. Hmm. Okay, I'm not going to mess with that right now because that's going to be a disaster. Oh, yeah. Aha, detective work. <laughs> This is some serious makeup detective work happening right here. So when you lift up this part of the compact, there is that little hole where you have to stick a pin and you can pop, you can pop the powder out. And then at some point, I imagine they'll have the refills and you can just pop in the new powder. I love that, that's amazing. So much better. And that way it'll be less expensive, better on the environment, better for your wallet, win-win situation all around. Wow, this one you do need a teeny tiny little pin. So that will be really annoying when you go to do it, <laughs> but it will be worth the headache. It goes from double zero all the way to shade 10. So I don't know why I thought shade nine would be a good bronzer for me. I think it might be too dark, but let's see. I'm gonna go in with my seamless shaping and finish brush, the same brush that I used for my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. It picks up a lot of powder. With this, you can see, that was just one swipe. I like it. I think it's gonna work. I think it looks really pretty. I haven't sunless tanned in a minute, so I definitely need to send less tan before I go in with a bronzer this dark. And I don't know, it gets darker than this. And of course you could go in with the sponge. I think this powder would probably work really nicely for somebody who has a much deeper complexion. It looks so smooth. I love this as a bronzer because it doesn't look, again, it doesn't look dry or dusty or dull. And I like the finish. Between this powder, the new Dior bronzer, 
the new Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, I think I'm set. <laughs> For matte bronzers, definitely set. And I also picked up the new Becca bronzer. I'm planning to do a bronzer roundup video sometime soon. The only new, somewhat new, bronzer I did not pick up is the Kosas. So I'm thinking if I'm going to do a bronzer video, I might go ahead and pick that one up. But let me know if there are any other bronzers that have been released or that you're interested in because I can add them to the list. I love it. I think it looks so pretty. I love this powder. I love the finish. I've resisted putting my fingers in it because it's just so special, but I want to feel it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. There's this texture right on top. It's almost like fabric. Oh, wow. It feels really soft and smooth. It's almost kind of creamy. It's creamy and yet it's really light. It is so finely milled. It doesn't really budge a lot. How interesting. I don't want to keep swatching it because I don't want the oils from my fingers to mess it up. It's so beautiful. Whatever they did, whatever they created with this formula, I love it. It blended out really nicely. There are no areas where it looks like it just stuck to the makeup and wouldn't blend. It still looks really soft and smooth. This is everything that I wanted out of my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, but the medium was a little bit too light. And it just so happens that the tan arrived today, so I'm going to swatch both of them next to each other so we can see. <sighs> I really like these Gucci powders. Everything that they've come out with has been incredible. I honestly love everything about it. I love the compact. I love the fact that it's refillable, which I didn't even realize. The powder itself, the texture, the formula is really good. It's almost so finely milled. It has that kind of creaminess to it, but it, it applies really nicely on the skin. Like I think my under eyes still look really smooth. The areas where I've applied the bronzer, it looks really smooth. I can't see any powder close up whenever I look. I haven't applied any highlight. I feel like my skin, my foundation still has a little bit of glow. You know, that powder did not set everything in a way that it looks dry. It just kind of looks healthy. It's the perfect amount of coverage, the perfect finish. It's not heavy whatsoever. I do want to add a little bit of blush just because. Perfect. I'm using, what is this? Evening Beige from Chanel. To say that I am absolutely thrilled with these Gucci powders would be an understatement, but I do have another powder that arrived. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Tan Bronzer. Might as well open it up. I'm not going to dedicate a separate video to this since I already reviewed the medium. And I did pull that one out as well. Because I've heard that there's a huge jump between the two. And I feel like a fool because when this w first went on sale, I thought to myself, I'm probably between shades or, you know, maybe I should buy both and just see. But I thought if it's way too dark, that would be so wasteful. And then sure enough, I definitely needed to order both. So this is, this is the tan. Yeah, that definitely is darker. And this is the medium. You can see my fingerprints smeared all over. And the viewfinder doesn't look like a huge difference. Oh yeah, it does. Ooh. Dang it! Is this gonna be too dark? Let's see, let me compare this and the nine from Gucci. Okay, so. Oh yeah, no. 
This is the Gucci powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury tan. Oh. So that's why the Charlotte Tilbury is way darker than this one. Dry. I haven't sunless tanned, so do you see how pale I am? And I did a terrible job. Whoops. The tan is sort of scaring me now. I already applied bronzer. I don't need any more. Let me just see what this looks like. I'm gonna go in now with same brush and I'm just tapping, barely picking up any product. I know some people thought that maybe I needed to use a different brush for the other one. I'm using the exact same brush you can see how much it picks up. So the brush is fine. So I just have to be light-handed. <laughs> this bronzer is going to work whenever I have a lot of sunless tan. Now I feel good about my decision to keep both. I think this is the darkest bronzer I own now. It's really dark. Wow, that is a huge jump between the two. I know that this, people need this bronzer. This is definitely needed. I almost wish this was a little bit darker. You know, had the medium been slightly deeper, maybe those four shades would have been perfect. What do you guys think? Since I have them both, let's swatch them both. I'm gonna take this finger again for the tan. And then this finger, I'll use the medium. That's a pretty drastic difference, if you ask me. And the medium, I'm trying to bend my finger, the medium almost looks more cool toned, which I noticed whenever I applied it, it didn't seem to warm up the skin. I could tell I had applied something, but it wasn't warmth. It, it's more neutral. Again, that's gonna be perfect for some skin tones. They're just kind of missing one right in between those. Pretty drastic difference between the two, the medium and the tan. I'm doing a horrible job with these swatches. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me go in with my ring finger and compare the Gucci. Even swatches a little bit smoother. It almost looks close to the medium. It's darker than the medium, warmer than the medium, and it's kind of that perfect in-between shade. If you're looking for an in-between shade, this is the perfect in-between shade. It's a beautiful compact, just like the Charlotte Tilbury. It's refillable, just like the Charlotte Tilbury. It is more expensive and it's much smaller. 0.35 ounces of product and this has 0.56. Something to keep in mind at least, you know, if the color doesn't work, the color doesn't work. This powder is beautiful. The texture of all of these is incredible. And now that I'm visually looking at all three of these, I can't believe how many bronzers I've purchased recently. That's a lot. That's all of the products I have here in front of me to play around with. Overall, I think you know my thoughts, you know my heart. I love those Gucci compacts, they are stunning. I think the price is justified by the amount of detail. Just the level of luxury is really outstanding. I'm looking forward to them releasing new products, but also releasing those refills sometime in the future so I can hang on to those compacts. The Charlotte Tilbury, Bronzers are beautiful as well. It's just nailing that perfect shade. And if some people might fall somewhere in between. The great thing about the Gucci powders is they do have a pretty nice shade range. It doesn't have a ton of coverage, but it's that perfect setting powder. And then of course, if you do need to build it up, go in with the sponge. You know, if you want a light dusting, then a powder brush is going to be perfect. It's so finely milled, not dry, not dusty. It's the perfect like, creamy powder just so beautiful. 
that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, your questions down below. I love hearing from you guys. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything on my face down below in the description box, and that's always for your convenience. I did see the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer is now available at Sephora in case you were holding out. You want to get your points, it's there. And as soon as I spot the Gucci powder, I will be sure to update this description box as well. But for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.